Hello, young engineers of HMEL. We are meeting you today again to revise some of the concepts that we did with you in the last session. This is lesson number two. In lesson number one, we had talked of how we can handle the crisis situation. The question that we asked you was, is it really a crisis situation? Or is it a perceived crisis situation? Actually, if we go deep into it, it's perhaps a challenge. It's perhaps a wonderful opportunity. An opportunity to become a situation handler. So, like we did in your program, Campus to Corporate, the attributes of an effective DET and a, and a young engineer. In this, we talked of the behaviors, attitude, and skills of a situation handler. And one idea which we shared with you was to practically apply the core values of HMEL in this situation when you work from home. So when you work from home, we said that you can perhaps look at safety first through a simple technique like 5S, self-discipline. You could have teamwork. We gave you the model of preparation, timing, and tone. There cannot be conversation without preparation. And that comes us to the recommended behavior by HMEL called engage with others. Your behavior to deep engagement. We also talked of high ethical standards, continuous learning and improving, setting targets and achieving targets, respect for people, etc., etc. Today, in this session, we are going to say, how do we prepare ourselves for working from home? So let me start this session by kind of showing you a slide. I hope you can all see my screen. This is what we began our journey when we met you last time for a two days program. We said this has to go beyond campus to corporate. Today, we have to look at a new perspective of the core values of HMEL. We have to move from campus to corporate to handling the present crisis situation. Is this really a crisis? Or is it a challenge? If it's a challenge, then isn't it an opportunity? Do you see this opportunity? Do you see that you are now required to be not just an effective DET or GET? You are required to be what is called a situation handler. And what are the attributes of an effective situation handler? From DET and GET, young engineers, you now become a situation handler. What are the behaviors? What are the attitudes? What are the skills? We, there are think three areas to improve in personal leadership. Self. Do I know myself? Can I improve myself? And self at work from home. What are the typical behaviors, attitude and skills which will help me? And self with others. Deeply engaging with others, with my stakeholders, making calls, with preparation, timing and tone, PTT. We also asked a natural question for reflection. How can I live the core values of HMEN when I work from home? And we said, safety first, teamwork, continuous improvement and learning, respect for people, high ethical standards and achieve targets and meet deadlines, even while working from home. A question which many of you thought about was how do we achieve targets and meet deadlines? Perhaps I have to make targets for myself. By which day do I improve certain skills? Do I have a schedule of the day? Do I have a to-do list? These are some things that we will address subsequently in some more sessions. Today, we are going to share with you how do you prepare for working from home? Let's talk of a story of a poor farmer, which we heard in childhood. The farmer who had the hen that lay the golden eggs. 
see this beautiful hen and see the size of the eggs. Somehow this farmer lost his cool. He got gullible by somebody else telling him. He felt a little pressurized and he went on and butchered this hen. There were neither hen left nor eggs left. And in our description of this farmer, since childhood, we have been using a couple of words. They are that this farmer was foolish, insensitive, cruel, and impatient. I'm sure you relate with this story, this story, this fable of the farmer who had the hen that laid the golden eggs. Let's turn this story around and ask ourselves, what are the golden eggs that we want in our life? As a young engineer in HMEL, what are the golden eggs? Perhaps you want growth. Perhaps you want job security. You want respect. You want a wonderful family life. One day you want a big car. You want a beautiful home, a house of your own. But who is the hen? Which is the hen which will give you this? these beautiful eggs. I think that hen is you yourself. And who's the farmer who's got this hen? I think you have a double role. You are the farmer and you're also the hen. So now you see the story has turned around and you need to pause and think. Are you also becoming foolish? insensitive and cruel towards and impatient towards this end. What is it that you needed to do with the hen? Which that farmer needed to do? It was a lovely hen. Perhaps the farmer needed to be more sensitive to the hen. The farmer needed to be more knowledgeable about the hen. The, ma the farmer need to be more patient. The farmer needed to be more caring to the hen. So how do you become caring towards yourself? How do you become more patient with yourself? How do you become more knowledgeable with yourself? Well, friends, the lockdown period is a beautiful time to connect with your hand. This is the time when you need to love yourself. Savari, apne saman ki swam jimmewar hai. Have you in this work from home lost your schedule? Lost your exercise? Lost your reading, lost your timely meals, lost the quality of your meals. I think time has come for you to take a pause and prepare for work from home by looking at the following options. Number one, you need to take care. Special treatment of this hen. This is a very special hen. This gives golden eggs and you need to love the hen. How can you love the hen? How can you take care of the hen? You need to have protection for the hen. You need to make sure that self-discipline is the protection for this hen. You need to understand what the whole world is talking about. Washing hands for 20 seconds, the face mask, the desanitizer, and the most important is social distancing. How else do you need this hen to become stronger? It is healthcare. Exercise, yoga, proper diet, timely meals, rest and health checkup. Make sure your health monitors are in place. Make sure you do meditation sometimes. And you also need to update your knowledge and skills. Make sure that in this regimen of work from home, you are reading a good book. You are watching a good YouTube video, including this one. You're also having a to-do list. You're also having a wonderful opportunity to go to e-learning modules put up by the human leadership team of HMEL. And there is so much of knowledge being shared. I think you need to get focused. If you look at all this, the agenda which is developing is called PMR. Let's talk about the PMR agenda. It has three, uh, three spheres of improving myself. Physical well-being is P. Mental well-being is M. And relationship well-being is R. Physical is my health, my food, 
my diet my rest can i afford to be all the time on social media can i keep continuing to be late night on facebook can i keep watching endless movies perhaps i need will be taking a toll on my health can i afford to put on weight during lockdown i am young i must look young and i must look fit and mental well being is all about upkeep of your mental fitness it comes with meditation it comes with beautiful yoga it comes with becoming a better listener and a better reader my skills and knowledge need to be updated if i am not updated i will get outdated and when i join the refinery after the lockdown period i will be out of sorts i will not be respected by my team work by my people by my seniors and lastly relationship will be i must have regular conversations engaging conversations with the stakeholders lesson number 1 told me as homework to make some list of stakeholders in both personal and professional life so my relationships have to be reviewed and my pmr agenda is very very clear to me now i'm sure this is giving you some ideas on action plan let me go back to the origin of this story it's been used as a foundational principle of the book seven habits of highly effective people by the great dr stephen covey he talks of p and pc balance he says the eggs are the products while the hen is the pc the production capability the balance between the love for product and the care for production capability is actually effectiveness and that is a beautiful part of how you prepare for work from home develop a pmr agenda i hope friends this has made some sense to you so go back and make a list of all the items that you'll start doing from today onwards on pmr physical well being mental well being and relationship well being if you have any questions please get in touch with me my name my address my email id my phone number whatsapp number is given on the first page of the booklet campus to corporate i am kanal amar bindra the guy next door good luck goodbye and have a great and safe day at home remember your self discipline is your strength